Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with remote sensing and the geographic information system. So the first question, formation of snow occurs if the cold temperature is option A just above the freezing point, option B at the freezing point, option C below the freezing point and option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option C below the freezing point. So next question, coherence of two electromagnetic waves takes place if their phase difference is option A constant in time, option B constant in space, option C constant in time and space, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option C constant in time and space. Next question, the coherence length over which there is a strong relationship between amplitude is option A directly proportional to the bandwidth. Option B inversely proportional to the bandwidth. Option C the square of the bandwidth. Option D none of the above. The correct answer is option B inversely proportional to the bandwidth. Next question the reflectance from the surface is called specular reflection. If it follows option A Snell law, option B Lebert Cosine law, option C Plankton law, option D all of the above. The correct answer is option A Snell law. Next question, repetitive observation of the same area at equal interval of the time are useful to monitor the dynamic phenomena, option, option A, cloud evaluation, option B, vegetative cover, option C, snow cover, option D, all the above. The correct answer is option D, all the above. Next question, in case of reflection and refraction of the electromagnetic radiation, option A, angle of incidence equal to angle of refraction, option B, angle of incident equal to angle of reflection, option C, angle of refraction equal to sum of angles of incident and refraction, option D, all the above. The correct answer is option B, angle of incident equal to angle of reflection. Next question, which one of the following factor does not affect the scale of the air photographs? Option A, focal length. Option B, flying height. Option C, ground elevation. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option D, none of the above. Next question, which one of the following statements regarding remote sensing is correct? Option A, the interaction of the electromagnetic radiation with the target. Option B, the emission of electromagnetic radiation from the target. Option C, both A and B. Option D, neither nor B. The correct answer is option C, both A and B. Next question, remote sensing technique make use of the properties of dash emitted, reflected or diffracted by the sensed object. Option A, electric waves. Option B, sound waves. Option C, electromagnetic waves. Option D, wind waves. The correct answer is option C, electromagnetic waves. Next question, the altitudinal distance of the geostationary satellite from the earth is about option A, 26,000 km, option B, 30,000 km, option C, 36,000 km, option D, 44,000 km. The correct answer is option C, 36,000 km. Next question, the ratio of the total solar radiant energy returned by the planetary body to the total radiant energy incident on the body is called option A, reflectance, option B, reflectance factor, option C, albedo, option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option C, albedo. Next question, crop average and production estimation cap was found and taken up in 1983 by option A, USA, option B, European Union, option C, Russia, option D, India. The correct answer is option D, India. Next question, a time varying electro field produces a magnetic field. The phenomenon is called option A, Hertz law, option B, Ampere Maxwell law, option C, Faraday's law, option D, Kirchhoff law. The correct answer is option B, Ampere's Maxwell law. Next question, the changes in the reflectivity, emissivity with time is called option A, spectral variation, option B, spatial variation, option C, temporal variation, option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option C, temporal variation. 
Next question, due to perturbation of the orbit, satellite orbit parameters are frequently updated on the measurement carried out by its option A, 6 ground station, option B, 5 ground station, option C, 4 ground station, option D, 3 ground station. The correct answer is option B, 5 ground stations. Next question, which one of the following helps to identify the objects on the Earth's surface? Option A, atmospheric window. Option B, signature. Option C, radiometric error. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option B, signature. Next question, the interaction of the electromagnetic radiation produced with the specific wavelength to eliminate a target on the terrain for studying its scattered radiates is called option A, passive remote sensing. Option B, active remote sensing. Option C, neutral remote sensing. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option B, active remote sensing. Next question, the refractive index of the ocean water, option A, increases with salinity. Option B, increases with temperature. Option C, decreases with salinity. Option D, decreases with temperature. The correct answer is option A, increases with salinity. Next question, the normal attitude of GPS Satellite is about option A 16,200 km, option B 20,200 km, option C 24,400 km, option D 36,100 km. The correct answer is option B 20,200 km. Next question Geodimeter is based on option A Propagation of modulated light waves. Option B, propagation of infrared radiation. Option C, the visible light as carrier with frequency of the order of 5 into 10 power 14 hertz. Option D, high frequency radio waves. The correct answer is option A, propagation of modulated light waves. Next question, while propagating through homogeneous isotropic media, option A, direction of both the fields are orthogonal. Option B, both the fields are right angles to the direction of propagation. Option C, both A and B. Option D, neither A nor B. The correct answer is option C, both A and B. Next question, the arrangement of the terrain features which provides a contribute the shape, size and texture of the object is called option A, spectral variation. Option B, spatial variation. Option C, temporal variation. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option B, spatial variation. Next question, if flying height of the spacecraft is H, the length of air base is B and the parallax difference between two points is DP, then the difference in height, option A, H equal to DP divided by B by H, option B, H equal to B by H into DP, option C, H equal to DP divided by H by B, option D, H equal to H divided by B into DP. The correct answer is option A, H equal to DP divided by B divided by H. Next question. DGPS is based on the concept of the bias errors in the position of location is a given local area or the same if a distance or within option A 25 km, option B 50 km, option C 75 km, option D 100 km. The correct answer is option D 100 km. Next question. The entire range of the electromagnetic spectrum spans a large spectre of wavelength varying from Option A 10 power minus 10 to 10 power 6 meter. Option B 10 power minus 8 to 10 power 6 meter. Option C 10 power minus 10 to 10 power 10 meter. Option D 10 power minus 8 to 10 power 8 meter. The correct answer is option A 10 power minus 8 10 to 10 power 6 meter. Next question. The value of energy quantum of radiation of the any frequency is proportional to option A the frequency. Option B, the reciprocal of energy. Option C, the square of the frequency. Option D, the square root of the frequency. The correct answer is option A, the frequency. 
நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் விச் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஃபாலோவிங் ஜியோமெட்ரிக் எரர்ஸ் ஆஃப் சேட்டலைட் சென்சர்ஸ் இஸ் ரேண்டம் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ ஸ்கேன் ஸ்கியூ ஆப்ஷன் பி பனரோமிக் டிஸ்டார்ஷன் ஆப்ஷன் சி ஏர்த் ரொட்டேஷன் ஆப்ஷன் டி ஆல்டிடியூட் வேரியேஷன் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் டி ஆல்டிடியூட் வேரியேஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் த ஸ்பெக்ட்ரல் ரீஜியன் ஆஃப் த எலக்ட்ரோ மேக்னெட்டிக் ரேடியேஷன் விச் பாசஸ் த்ரூ த அட்மாஸ்பியரிக் வித்தவுட் மச் அட்டனேஷன் இஸ் நோன் ஆஸ் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ ஓசோன் ஹோல் ஆப்ஷன் பி அட்மாஸ்பியரிக் விண்டோ ஆப்ஷன் சி ஓசோன் விண்டோ ஆப்ஷன் டி பிளாக் ஹோல் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் பி அட்மாஸ்பியரிக் விண்டோ நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் இன் ஜிபிஎஸ் ரிசீவர்ஸ் யூஸ்டு ஆர் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ எலக்ட்ரானிக் கிளாக்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் பி அட்டானிக் கிளாக்ஸ் option c quartz clocks option d mechanical clocks the correct answer is option c quartz clock next question for c band synthetic aperture radar sar with the doppler band width of 1300 the coherent length is option a 130 km option b 230 km option c 250 km option d 500 km The correct answer is option B 230 km. Next question, which one of the following attribute is not associated with digital maps? Option A color, option B symbology, option C legends, option D south arrow. The correct answer is option D south arrow. Next question, the instrument which provides the electromagnetic radiation of the specified wavelength or a band of wavelength to illuminate the earth surface are called option a sensors option b passive sensors option c active sensors option d none of the above the correct answer is option c active sensors next question the most widely used antenna in gps is option a parabolic antenna option b micro strip antenna option c horn antenna option d slotted antenna The correct answer is option B micro strip antenna. Next question, orbital radius of GPS satellite is approximately option A 15200 km, option B 26600 km, option C 18400 km, option D 36300 km. The correct answer is option B 26600 km. Next question a passive sensor uses option a sun as the source of energy option b flashlight as the source of energy option c its own source of energy option d none of the above the correct answer is option a sun as the source of energy again we will see next video thank you